hello friends in this video we will discuss about operators this is a very important part of quantum mechanics and in every time in csr net and gate as well question comes from this part so these questions are very easy if you know simple mathematics you can can you can solve this questions and a score in the uh, score marks okay so let's start with our topic operator you can say these are some rules these are some rule that changes one function and into an another function okay so a derivation can also be operator integration multiplication divide subtraction addition this all are can be considered as an operator okay again in the third postulate of quantum mechanics it is said that in the third postulate in quantum mechanics it is said that for every observable in classical mechanics there should be an operators in the quantum mechanics so if we compare these two mechanics classical mechanics and quantum mechanics for every physical property or observable there should be an operator in the quantum mechanics so we can find out this operator by replacing x y z these three coordinates of classical mechanics by x y z in the quantum mechanics and their linear momentum by h cross i t d x or by this term okay by these two we can find out any kind of operator in the quantum mechanics so under this topic we will discuss many things first we will discuss about linear operator different types of operator out of there one is linear operator commutator algebra third hermitian operator fourth eigen value what is eigen value operator fifth what is average value or expectation value of a physical property in quantum mechanics sixth orthonormal we will discuss about orthonormal condition and we'll discuss about equation of motion ladder operators and at the last we'll derive some operators derivation of some operators of different physical properties such as kinetic energy potential energy hamiltonian operator this kind of operator we'll discuss at the last so this nine things we'll discuss under this topic first is linear operator what is first the linear operator 
कम्यूटेटर एलजेब्रा फार्मिशियन अपारेटर आइगेन भेल्यू अपारेटर एभारेज भेल्यू और एक्सपेक्टेशन भेल्यू अफ ए फिजिकल प्रपार्टी एंड अर्थनमेल कंडिशन व्हाट इज अर्थनमेल कंडिशन एंड सेवेन इज इक्वेशन अफ ए मोशन लेदार अपारेटर्स एंड डेरावेशन अफ साम अपारेटर्स so first we'll discuss about linear operator a operator suppose a is an operator a cap is an operator an operator will be linear operator if it satisfy if it satisfies two conditions first conditions if it satisfy two conditions has to be satisfied first condition is when an operator a cap is operated on a summation of two functions gx and fx then we'll operate on these two functions separately a cap into gx and a cap into fx the second condition is when this operator a cap is operated on a sum product of two product of a constant c and in function fx then this constant will be come out and this operator will operate on the function fx only if an operator satisfies these two conditions then it will be said as a linear operator for example suppose we are supposed find we are supposed to find out whether an operator dd of x this is a <coughs> linear operator or not then this operator for the first condition we operate on with sorry we operate on the summation of these two functions then it is found that dd of x equal to g fx okay again if we operate by this operator on the product of a constant and an function then we find out we find that this constant will come out and this operator ddx will operate on the this function only okay that we can say that ddx which is an operator satisfies both the conditions thus it is an linear operator similarly if we see with an operator square root okay this is an square root if this operator part on the summation of two functions then we find that this is not equal to the square root of gx plus square root of f a that does not satisfy the first condition of linear operator therefore it is not a linear operator okay square root is not a linear operator so this is from the linear operator later on we'll discuss some problems from the previous equation paper now we'll discuss about the commutator algebra suppose there are two operator a and b right these are two operator and their commutator is given by a cap b cap this is commutator of a cap and b cap a cap into b cap minus b cap into a cap and their anti commutator is given by this bracket a cap comma b cap 
bracket close a cave into bk plus b cave into a cave this is the anti-commutator expression and this is the commutator expression two operator a and b commutes we can say these two operator commutes only if this commutator of these two operator a and commutator of a and b is equal to zero that is commutator equal to a cap into b cap equal to b cap into a cap okay in commutator exam algebra there are some properties also let us see what are the properties are there okay we are writing here properties of commutator algebra first property is anti-symmetry commutator of a and b is equal to the minus of commutator of b and a this relation of commutator is known as anti-symmetry property similarly property of linearity commutator of a operator a and summation of more than two operator two or more operator can be written as operator of a and b plus operator of a and c plus operator of a and d okay this property of operator is known as linearity property again another property known as distributivity distributivity what is this property if a commutator commutator of a cap and product of b and c <coughs> operator this can be written as commutator of a and b into c plus commutator of b into commutator of a and c this property is known as distributive property there is another two another property that is known as Jacobi identity commutator of a and commutator of b and c and whole commits okay this can be write as n commutator of b and commutator of c and a this is whole and commutator of c and commutator of a and b this is equal to zero this relation is known as jacobi identity for commutator algebra we have two results this can also be we have two standard results you should remember these two results in order to solve problems that is commutator of x to the power n and ddx of x this is equal to minus of n x to the power n minus 1 and commutator of x to the power n and p x to the power m this is linear momentum operator of linear momentum this can be written as n x n minus 1 i h plus h cross m p x m minus 1 you should learn these two results to solve problems from commutator algebra okay now we'll solve some problems from commutator algebra 
So now we'll discuss some problems from commutator algebra. Here in this question, just ask to find that whether the two these two pairs of operators are commuted or not. So let us take the <coughs> first option, first question first. there are two operators are given one is x another is ddx we take first the commutator of these two operator operating on a arbitrary function psi this operator this commutator can be written as x dx minus ddx of x and and psi is this psi will be now go inside and it will be like this ddx into x into psi so again we can write this as as it is we can write this as when x is come out we can write ddx of psi when psi is come out then we can write ddx of x this will this two will cancel out and we have only minus of psi ddx into x ddx by ddx equal to minus 1 that is we have only psi that is what we have got from this calculation we got Commutator of x and ddx psi equal to minus of psi that is this commutator is equal to minus 1 that is this two commutator that is this two operator doesn't do not commute with each other okay let us see the second problem what is given here there is two operators is given similarly <coughs> now take the commutator of these two operators on an arbitrary function psi you can write this as ddx d square divided by dx square plus twice of ddx minus ddx square plus twice of ddx all into psi okay this psi will go into the bracket separately and we can write it as oh sorry we have missed this term ddx here okay now we can write this as when it goes inside d square divided by dx square into twice of ddx into psi this is equal to product and d dx square plus twice of dx ddx into ddx into psi okay now we multiply this two term then we will get d cube divided by dx cube psi twice of d square divided by dx square psi minus if we multiply this two term we will get d cube divided by dx cube psi and minus twice of d square divided by dx square into psi these two will cancel out and these two will cancel out each other now what we will have this will have zero 
that is this two operator this two operator this commutator of this two operator is equal to this, zero that is these two operator commuted with each other again we have taken another problem and in this problem we have given three commutator and we are supposed to find out the operators of this commutator so to solve these three problems we have to know two standard results from commutator algebra that is two concept we should know one is commutator of x to the power n and dd x is equal to minus of n x to the power n minus 1 and second is x to the power n p x to the power m this commutator is equal to minus plus n x to the power n minus 1 i is cross m x to the power m minus 1 these two results you should remember to solve this okay then you can easily solve these two problems so what is given in the problem x px okay this commutator is equal to 1 x to the power 1 minus 1 and i is cross 1 into px 1 minus 1 this will be 1 and this will be 1 okay so we will have only i into a square this is the value again for this also we will have 3 x square i is cross 1 into p this will be 1 so the value will be 3 x square i into a square this is the value of this commutator again for this problem x into x ddx this commutator this will be 1 into x to the power minus of 1 into x to the power 1 minus 1 so minus of 1 x to the power 0 this will be equal to 1 that is 1 this is the value of this commutator okay by this way we can solve the problem from commutator algebra now we'll discuss about our third topic Hermitian operator so a operator suppose we have an operator a cap okay this operator said to be Hermitian there are two concepts regarding Hermitian operator. In the first concept, it is said that an operator a cap is said to be Hermitian when Hermitian adjoint of this operator is equal to the operator, positive of the operator, then it is said to be Hermitian. Okay. Whereas Hermitian adjoint of this operator is negative of this operator, then it is said to be anti Hermitian. We generally use this concept in order to solve the problems. So in that case, you have to remember some value of Hermitian adjoint. Hermitian adjoint of ddx equal to minus of ddx. Hermitian adjoint of minus i equal to minus i. Minus 1, minus 1, x, x. When we take Hermitian adjoint of an operator for two times, then it will give the same operator. Okay, in the second concept, an operator is said to be Hermitian when it satisfies the following concept that is, psi star is a wave function, arbitrary wave function a cap psi d tau equal to a k 
के साय साय डीटा ओके इफ एन ऑपरेटर सेटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन देन इट इज सेट टू बी एन हार्मिशियन ऑपरेटर ओके सो रिगार्डिंग हार्मिशियन ऑपरेटर देयर आर सम प्रॉपर्टीज आर देयर द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ हार्मिशियन ऑपरेटर If we have a Hermitian operator a cap, then if it operates on an eigen function, if psi is an eigen function, then it will give us a eigen value which is a real. This is always a positive or a real value. This is the property number one. The second property, if we have an Hermitian operator and it operates on a function, suppose psi1 and gives us a1 and psi1, this is the eigenvalue. If it operates on a different function and gives us a different eigenvalue, a2, okay? Then we can say that these two functions, these two are eigenfunctions, psi1 and psi2 these two are orthogonal that is we can say what is the condition of orthogonal the condition of orthogonal is integration over psi 1 and psi 2 over d tau value is equal to 0 this is the condition of orthogonality this will we will discuss it later on okay this is the theory part from Hermitian operator if you know this very well you can solve all the problems now we'll discuss linear operator what is linear operator number four our topic is linear operator a operator suppose a no, no, this time we'll, this linear operator is already done. This time we will discuss about eigenvalue operator. What is eigenvalue operator? An operator is said to be an eigenvalue operator when it operates on the function psi and gives us the same function, results in the same function and we can constant then this operator is said to be as eigenvalue operator and this function is known as eigenfunction okay this constant is eigenvalue you can easily understand this equation if we take an example suppose we have an operator ddx and function psi is e to the power ax therefore if this operator operates on this function what we have we will get a and e to the power ax this is a constant term this is the eigenvalue and it gives the same function as in the left hand side okay Such type of operator are known as eigenvalue. Okay. The remaining part of this chapter operators we'll discuss in the next video. So guys, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section below and subscribe our channels for more videos on chemistry based on CSRNet and GATE as well. And press the bell icon for instant notification. Thank you.